what, what are the asset classes that you're uh, mostly involved in, or are you looking to put into those, those funds? Sure. So Temple Opportunity Fund has been around since 2017. It's a broadly diversified uh, fund. And um, we're capital allocators. So we've been changing strategy as we go along with the best opportunities. And just a quick uh, overview, it's it's got over 80 assets, broad diversifying among many strategies, including uh, multifamily, storage, some shopping plazas, uh, office, industrial, portfolios of single family, uh, number of hard money loans. So this fund um, uh, touches many aspects of real estate. And um, let me switch briefly for, to the Temple Growth Fund. That fund we launched essentially just pre-COVID. We launched that fund in January 2020 and COVID hit. And it was actually a phenomenal opportunity for us, for that fund, to start picking up uh, assets and make investments uh, when the market was dislocated and substantially discounted. Mm. So that fund had a different mandate. That fund is a growth mandate. So uh, it loves repositioning of assets. And we, we start uh, writing a good number of checks into the hotel to multifamily conversions at, and some office to multifamily as that trend started to pick up quite a bit. And what's really interesting is that uh, you can't blame everything on COVID. It's, it's an easy excuse. <laughs> hey, oh, it's the pandemic. The reality is that many of these assets struggled before pandemic and kind of the pandemic knocked them out and uh, the highest and best use is no longer the original purpose. So it just accelerated certain trends or certain, you know, uh, opportunities. So that's the brief history of both funds. Uh, at this point, once we launched the Temple Growth Fund, we start focusing Temple Opportunity on more income deal and less of the growth deals. Uh, so again, being capital allocated is one of the strengths. We can shift um, uh, our investment focus to the best opportunities that present, present themselves. So as we launch Temple Growth Fund, we uh, obviously invest in some classic value add multifamily projects. What has happened during COVID, number of these projects were trading or, or selling at a discount. So the opportunity was to basically come in and invest in, in those projects at a good price and then the hotel to multifamily, the whole trend picked up rapidly. And we um, when you know, even though we are diversifying quite a bit, we're also taking advantage of some of these opportunities. So we like the strategy. We've allocated probably 40 to 50 percent of the funds so far into these projects. And that's been, you know, a great blessing. We, the fund is still open. We continue to raise capital and continue to write more checks into the strategy, although the it's getting harder to find these great deals. So during the peak of the COVID, these things were completely stalled, no business. So you could pick them up at a much better deal. Today, there's still good opportunities from the point of view that these were not good hotels pre-COVID and now they, they sort of are recovering, but at the same time, they're not recovering well. So there is an opportunity to convert. And many cities and towns don't want as many hotels as they have, and they would prefer to have more affordable housing. That's why this thesis comes in. It's do good strategy as well as uh, has economic benefits to investors because uh, the cost to build versus the cost to redevelop is, is quite different. 